Hey guys, and welcome to game number 64 out of 100 of my Human vs. AI series, where I'm taking on the AI-powered Scrabblebot Best Spot in a 100-game match. Coming off of a tough loss in game 63, so hoping things will go a little bit better today. I'm first, probably just Foggy looks good here, no L for foliages, so I'm not going to be bingoing, but 26 points keeping the S seems like a good way to go, so I'll go ahead and play that. Pull some vowels here, five vowels on this turn. So not exactly what I was hoping for, but I should be able to play Obaya, O-B-I-A somewhere, hopefully, and clean up this rack. Maybe even bogey through this G, we'll see. Depends a lot on what the bot does, but that's a reasonable option. Obia here is a reasonable option. That's pretty risky, though, putting the A right there with a Z unseen and lots of other high point tiles. Bot plays vocab. So that gives me a spot for my B here. Probably Bio is more sensible than Obaya. It does keep a third vowel, which is unideal, but scores a lot more, takes out that spot, and uh, doesn't give back another massive hotspot like Obaya does. So I think this is probably fine. If I draw a couple consonants, this turns into a very good bingo leave, so it's not too bad. I could also play Obaya over here, which is extremely aggressive, setting up an S hook in the triple line, but it's 13 fewer points, so... I don't think I want to do that. I guess there's also Obayas and Vocabs, 29, but I don't think that's quite worth it. It still is pretty risky putting an O up there in the triple line, which isn't super scary since the O is on the double letter, but I think at this point in the game, it's still early enough. You know, there's nothing wrong with Bio scoring 25 points. If I draw, like I said, two consonants, I'm in very good shape here, so let's see what happens. I do draw two consonants, but they're not the best. I get another S and another... E along with an F, so probably not going to be bingoing next turn. It's it's possible if the bot gives me the right tile. A T for safeties, R for freesias, C for cassifies, I see. Might even be something else. There is that C in vocab, but cassifies is, of course, not going to fit there. So we'll have to see what the bot does. But probably going to be looking to just kind of unduplicate some stuff here. Definitely get rid of one of my E's, definitely get rid of the F. Possibly get rid of one of my S's, too, if that seems sensible. I mean, having two S's is not bad, but it's not materially better, really, than having one S. So we'll see what the bot does. I could see something like, honestly, just C over here for 18. Like I said, unduplicating the S's and the E's, keeping a pretty good leave. So we'll see what, like I said, what it does, but probably not going to be anything particularly exciting, unless it does happen to flow a tile I need for a bingo, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. All right, the bot has decided to just play hid for 13. Interesting. So definitely not giving me anything to work with at all. Huh. So do I still want to just play Seaf? It does potentially give back a bit on the 8 row to that triple above the F. So I don't love that aspect of it. Hmm. I just don't see a lot of other options. Safe is probably even more dangerous, because then also you can get a 5 starting with a consonant, especially after play like hid, which probably implies a rack that's slightly consonant heavy. Safe is likely safer than... safer than safe, pun intended. Anything with bios? There's also safe over here, but that's definitely not what I want to do. Putting an I right there. I guess there's also safe over here. Like, I'm not actually that worried about an F there, because it's going to be pretty tough for the bot to put a high-scoring tile on the double letter. Like, really, with these openings, guys, the concern is a high-scoring tile like an X or a Z on the double letter. That's how it's going to turn a bad scenario into a disaster scenario. Another option I have that's very aggressive, actually, but might not be crazy, is Seaf over here for 15. It's very, very aggressive. Setting up my second S. I guess the thing is, do, do I think the bot has an S with hid? I mean, it might. It's definitely interesting that it just played hid instead of trying to parallel Foggy. So it probably didn't have an A or an O, or else it would have played Had or Hod for like 10 plus more. But I don't necessarily have a read on whether it has an S. Still two S's left. I mean, it's, there's got to be a decent chance it has an S after playing two tiles. Like, it's it's not a guarantee, but there's probably enough of a chance that I don't 
really need to risk that. I don't know. There is there is a lot of upside, but it just it feels a little bit too aggressive at this point. Like if I were down more, I mean I'm not even down at all. If I were I should say if I was down a considerable amount, I would almost certainly do it. But at this point in the game, it just feels a little bit too aggressive. So I think I'll probably just go with Seif over here. It's not that likely the bot's going to have a big play on the right. And if it does, it'll at least give me some tiles to work with for eights. So I think that's probably the best option. Wow, another S. There's actually a 7 here. I have Casey Ace. C-A-S-E-A-S-E. Which is not a word that comes up very often at all. So that's going to play here for 76. If it stays open, it will stay open. So Tweeted comes down. Interesting. Uh, I guess Casey Ace it is, right? I don't think I have anything through the D. Seed Case or Deceases doesn't work. I need a 30. Casey Ace doesn't fit. It's definitely better to play it over here. If I play it with the uh, first S hooking bio, it doesn't open the C, but it scores a lot fewer points. So I think this is probably fine. And that is a ugly looking draw here. Three T's, a U, and a W. Jeesh. Probably end up trying to play Nutty or something, but we'll see. Alright, he plays Gaucho quickly. So after all that, I'm up a point. Actually, 20 looks like a good play here. It scores 20 plus 4. Probably pretty good. I mean, it gets rid of pretty much all of the junk on my rack. Keeps UT, which isn't a great leave, but certainly nothing to complain about starting from three T's of U and a W. Blocks pretty well. Doesn't really give all that much back. I feel like it's going to be hard to beat. I mean, I only have a U. I'm not going to be able to overlap anything, really. Nowhere good to play nutty, witty through the eye. It's just way too big a point sacrifice. So, yeah. All right. I think let's go ahead and do it. Not really a turn that's worth spending more time on and yeesh that did not get better at all two use now well at least i have another decent play if it stays open i can play untrue over here and get rid of more of this garbage yeah this is just an ugly looking rack i mean two use two ends all one pointers there's just like no there's nothing good about this rack like absolutely nothing so yeah hopefully that e stays open for untrue because my next best option is uh i don't even know what it is it's poor all right good it did so yeah i, I mean I, untrue has to be right unrule is not valid only unruly uh loon you i don't have a second l yeah i mean ln is not the best to leave but it's certainly not terrible starting from from this i can't keep like rt or tn or anything so all right untrue it is Still not good, but a little bit better at least. You could really use like an E or something. Yeah, two R's and a Y. It's a little bit difficult to work with. Probably something from this T, like Terry on my next turn. We'll see. 27 points keeps I L N. What other options do I have? I don't have anything starting with T Y, do I? I don't think so. That would be ideal, obviously, to score more points, but I don't think I have any fives. could also play from this F with, I guess just, I guess Fry isn't terrible? I don't know. I don't like this leave, though. Like, yeah, I could bingo with it, especially if I draw an E, but keeping five one-pointers that aren't super strong together is always a bit risky, because then if I don't get a bingo, I'm probably going to be scoring not much on my next turn. All right, bot plays Pox. Still basically neck and neck here. Bot is up two points. Terry still looks pretty good. It's 27, keeps ILN, which is, you know, not great, but it's fine. I don't think I have anything good through the T and untrue that would put the Y on the double letter. I mean, Ryan to Lee is there, but it doesn't reach the double word, so that's pretty bad. Don't think there's anything else. Trinary doesn't fit because of 20. So, yeah, I'm thinking Terry looks pretty good. I don't see anywhere for Larry or Rial or Errol, really, A-R-Y-L. I mean, I could play Errol over here. I believe it's a little better than after Terry, but it's certainly not eight points better. So I feel like that's got to be the best option, unless I'm missing something. But, yeah, let's do that. And now I have three eyes. I just can't catch a break here, it seems. But 
Hey, luckily the bot hasn't bingoed, and I say that and now it plays Muntjax for 72 as a natural. Jeez. JKM and it bingoes. Man. That is a crazy, crazy word. Goodness. Now I have to figure out what I want to do, because I still have three eyes. So... I mean, like, other than the three eyes, my rock is pretty good. I can't really get rid of just I-I for any reasonable number of points, let alone at all, just the I and the I. But I guess I could play off Leary. Only six. That seems pretty rough. Could play aid, but that still keeps two eyes on my rack. Tayed, maybe? Keeping I L N doesn't seem all that exciting either. Yeah, there's just not a lot of good options here at all. Lie that keeps two eyes. I really don't think I can afford to keep two eyes here. Anything from this F? Fielded, field. Both of those keep two eyes. It's just so hard to get rid of two eyes. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea here. I mean, it's... I guess Tayid is probably best. I hate getting rid of my E, though, too. Like, the E is so good for... bingoing. I guess I have to decide what's more important, getting rid of two eyes or keeping my E. Because I don't want to score six points with Leary. That doesn't seem like a good option. Anything from this K? Most Kinnon or something, or Keelum, but I don't think so. That gets rid of both eyes, or two, two of my three eyes, I should say. Yeah, I have no idea here. I hope I'm not missing something, but yeah, it just doesn't seem like I have any particularly good options. I mean... Maybe I do just play aid? Like, the odds of me getting a third eye are pretty slim. I don't know, it just, it seems so bad. E-I-I-L-N? It's a terrible leave. Yeah, it's either that or Tayid, probably. Unless I'm missing something. I feel like I am, but I'm not seeing it. There's Linen for 11, keeping E-I-D. I guess that's an option. Doesn't seem all that good. I, yeah, I really am at a loss here, guys. I have no idea what I am supposed to do. I feel like I'm going to go with Tayid. It also turns over a few more tiles for the second blank. And I, I really don't want to keep two eyes on my rack. So I think I'm going to go with this. I'm not happy about it, but I don't see any other good options. So I'm going to go ahead and play that. Ugh, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I'm having a really hard time getting the good rack together here. Sheesh, now I drew LLNN. I guess, I guess linen would have worked out a little bit better. Maybe I should have done that, I have no idea. This is, uh, this is turning ugly quickly here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to get a better draw quickly here if I want to come back, because... I'm down a bit, and I'm not going to be accomplishing much or scoring a lot of points with this. Now, the good thing is the pool is Val-heavy, so at least I can maybe... Yeah, well, there you go. There go all the Vals with Fairy. I think Pelon is forced here. I mean, scores pretty well. Fairy was a good defensive play, blocking the bottom. I need to make sure I have lines to work with, because I have to imagine I'm going to need a bingo to come back. But I still have the T and the R and Untrue. So I've got that. I've got... The O and Gaucho, which is pretty tough to hit, but it's possible. And, I mean, this just seems like it has to be the right play. Oh, come on! Like, I, I just... I haven't had a rack that didn't have multiple duplicate one-pointers, I feel like, in a long time. Ugh. And now the bot just bingos again. All right, well, GG. Not going to be winnable at this point. There's a Q and a Z left. But... I mean, I don't think there's any way I can possibly catch the bot with them. So let me just, I guess, make sure I don't get stuck with something. So maybe... 
I don't even know. I where am I playing the Q if I get it? I guess I have well, I guess I have two Q spots. I have the I and Tayed and the I and Seaf. So I guess I'm not getting stuck with anything. But there's no there's no point in fishing, because I'm not gonna be able to get anything in two spots and the bot can probably just outrun anything anyway. So Alright, let's uh I think let's get this one over with, because I don't really have much to work with at all. Probably air on the top right, but I'd rather get rid of a few more tiles. I guess Nori? Yeah, I probably want to block that spot for stuff like Kadi. Yeah, Nori, I guess, keeping L-U-R, that seems awful. But I don't really see anything better. Like, I don't really have any fives, that's the thing. So I don't know how I'm going to get more points. At this point, the game is over anyway, so let's just, uh, let's just move on. Now I drew the V, so I've got VU. And probably not a lot of good plays. Now, I would imagine the bot is going to, uh, take a while here and try to figure out its best endgame. So why don't I pause the video and I will come back as soon as the bot moves. Alright, bot plays raised for 34. Interesting, not really what I expected, keeping MQW. Huh, I mean, it's got two Q spots. It's got the, like I said, the I and Tayed and the I and Seaf. But, well, I'm just wondering what's it doing after that. I guess, is it going to have two spots for MW? Yeah, it will. It'll have Warm through the AR on the top left and Mew through the E and KCAs. Okay. Can I not go out in two myself, though? I feel like I've, I can stop QI on the left. That would be ideal, because that's the higher scoring one. So if I play Verl, I guess UI is not going... No, it is. I mean, I'll have Uni through the N and Malinate, right? And the bot is going to have a pretty tough time blocking that. Like, is it even worth it for the bot to block Uni? I mean, it would have to play WO. And then, and then just QI, and I'll just still play high and then go out with my U. Yeah, there's no way it's worth it for the bot to block. So I think Verl is probably correct here. So yeah, let's, let's do that. And then, wow, it does play WO. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. So then I will just play high, I suppose. And then go out with my U somewhere on my next turn. Yep, QI. And then at least I'll break 300. That's something. Uh, where's my best out for this U? Am I getting more than two points? I only see... I see a bunch of two-point spots. I don't see anything for more than two. I see NU up the top. I see NU at the bottom. I see UT to the T and Tweeted. I see NU, a third NU. In the NML and 8, I don't see anything else, as far as I can tell. So, I will... I don't know. I'll go out with... Uh, doesn't really matter. Yeah, tough game. 307 to 400. Just ugly. Ugly game. I mean, I probably made some small mistakes, but overall, just those draws were brutal in the middle of the game. Like, early on, I started okay, and then after, after Casey Ace, I just feel like I didn't have a single good rack. Like, forget a, forget a single good rack. Like, I, I didn't have a single rack that wasn't bad with a ton of duplicates. But let's see. Yeah, bio looks good. So yeah, hit did keep the blank. Oh, I didn't come up with fees here. Yeah, just didn't generate that word on my rack for some reason. That's a better play. I mean, it does get rid of my E, and the E is nice for, for bingoing, but it's six more points. It also doesn't give back all the counterplay I was talking about on the, on the eight row. So yeah, that's definitely a better play. I mean, it does, allow feased, but again, it's not that risky. If he puts a D there, he's not going to be able to put a high point tile on the double, so not too worried about that. It's six more points, too, so that's a mistake for sure. I, I should have played fees. Yeah, at this point, I mean, I was still feeling okay about things. I'm like, okay, it's a horrible wreck, but I have a good way to clean it up, and that's honestly the only reason I stayed in this game as long as I did. Like, I kept having, for some time, reasonable plays to clean the rack up. Interesting, the bot passes up potage for ten more to play loge and keep things tight. So, yeah, I'm not sure I would have done that. I mean, 10 is a bit to give up. LS is still a pretty good leave, and there aren't any huge S hooks on this board. There's Seafs, but it's not that easy to start with the S. So, very patient play by the bot, which is uh, which is interesting. Oh, Untune. I didn't see that. I only saw Untrue. Yeah, Untune looks a little bit better 
LR is, uh, I mean, it's not a huge difference, but you know, these things add up, and we, we saw I got bombarded by L's and N's, so maybe this would have helped me a little bit. Yeah, it's funny, I had a feeling there was something else there, but I saw Unrule, which I knew wasn't good, I just didn't come up with Untuned, so another small mistake, nothing massive. Terry looks good. Friarly, that's a cool word, I didn't come up with it, but Terry looks fine, I mean, the leave is, in theory, not materially worse, if at all, and I don't put the Y in the middle of the triple line, and, and yeah, I mean, Munchax, like, come on. And th this turn was just, uh, I mean, I don't know, am I, am I supposed to do this and keep two eyes? I didn't see Silenai, which is a cool six, Pearl of Silenus. This is maybe slightly better than Taya, just to turn over an extra tile, not keep all one-pointers, maybe? But either way, my options are horrible with that rack, and yeah, the bot has six vowels, but manages to, to play that. I luckily got sort of bailed out, but then once the bot gets this bingo down, there's really... Not much to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I have Iron here. I should have played that, probably. It's five more points. I do leave Kadi open, but probably still better. And then the bot plays Raised. Uh, I maybe should just play play this and go out in two, but I think what I did is also fine, stopping the higher scoring out. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, just not a good game, you know? I made a couple small errors. Fees would have been better than Seaf. Untune would have been better than Untrue, so... A few small to maybe moderate mistakes, but nothing major. No, like, there was no clear moment where I really went wrong and completely screwed up. I don't feel like just some really brutal tile draws in the middle of that game. But, you know, it's part of Scrabble. It happens. So, uh, gotta move on and hopefully uh, come back better for game number... What will we be, we be on? Uh, game number 65, I guess. Wow, we are really moving along, guys. Uh, almost two-thirds of the way through this series at this point. So, yeah, that's a wrap for this one. Not much else to look at. Uh, I will uh, see you all soon for number 65, and uh, thanks as always for watching and for all the support. Have a good one. Bye-bye.